Hi, and welcome to the second episode of this video series on the awakened mind, brought to you by Quantum Way with Donna Bach and Gary Grusbeck. Today we're going to talk about the configuration of wave patterns characteristic of what we call the awakened mind. What is the awakened mind? And what brain waves need to be present to reach a state of awakened mind? So, Donna and Gary, over to you. Hello, it's good to see you again. So, uh, today we're going to talk about uh, the awakened mind pattern. And I want to show you a picture of that pattern of what it looks like, and then we'll explain it a little bit. We'll go into more detail in future episodes here, but we just want you to be acquainted with it. So I'm going to share a screen, hopefully. Uh, that is the awakened mind pattern. Now, what we're looking at here are the brain waves. And this is a kind of pattern up here at the top. Uh, you see the beta brain waves. Uh, which are a little bit faster, that you have to have the beta up there in order to be conscious of the external world. And then we have the alpha, which a lot of people are familiar with alpha. Uh, this is the bridge to your unconscious, to the subconscious, actually. Theta uh, is where we normally go when we go to sleep, but when we're in meditation or when we're working uh, during the day with uh, creativity, uh, we will develop theta as well. And then delta is the slowest brain waves. And that delta can spread out, you know, both ways, or it can be kind of small. Uh, but everybody has a little bit of delta, waking delta, uh, as well as when you go to sleep at night, you go into a delta sleep is a non-dreaming, generally non-dreaming sleep. And it's the restorative sleep is uh, developed in delta. And I'd like to add to that. I'm just uh, wanting to let you know that what you're looking at here is a graphic that is similar to the bars that you will see on the monitoring equipment, which is called the mind mirror. And the Vallistus mind mirror, the sixth model of it, is the one we will be using in the workshops where everyone will have a chance to be monitored to see what their brain waves are doing in real time. And when you're looking at the monitor, you'll see where it says left and right. And that is showing the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere and how far the amplitude or the power of each brainwave full, fills up the screen out to the edges, depending on how strong it is. So these are the kinds of patterns that we'll be looking for to show when you receive all of the brain waves at the right time and the right ratios in real time to show when you're in the highest performance and highest consciousness that you can be with this awakened mind pattern, which has been around now for about 50 years. So the awakened mind pattern is what I, th I think of as the natural. So what we were looking at just then on the shared screen is the awakened mind pattern, which is the one that has the proper ratio of just enough of the faster beta waves with plenty of alpha to be able to inform not only from the thinking mind, the one that is the more cognitively present, with the subconscious and the unconscious. The alpha is the bridge that carries the information both up and down on that graph. And the way it has been discovered since Maxwell Cade found out about this in the 60s, is that this is the pattern we're trying to achieve for everyone to be in their highest performance, optimal brainwave state. 